What's up, guys? Good morning, TLD Hollywood here. Hey, you, you know what I realized this morning? I don't know what to call it. Self-realization, maybe? I don't know, that sounds fancy. So I'm gonna use it. But hey, listen, here's here's what I realized this morning. When, well, and I've, I've been kind of realizing this more and more. But the more and more you become true to yourself, the better you feel about yourself. And the better you feel overall. Let me explain what I mean. So, let's say you're an artist, right? And let's say you love to draw and, and paint and things like that. And let's say you do it, you know, when you get off work, whatever you're it's called day job or whatever your your job is unless it's art uh you go home and you love to paint or you love to do things right and and maybe you've always had this dream of a painting you know it's like you wanted to make money from it but you know people ask you how would you do that and you know you don't have time for that and what about your kids and what about your family and you know you don't can't go to college for that you need to you need to make money and things like that right so you begin to, to adopt that mentality. You begin to, you know, go to college for whatever it is that somebody else told you to go to college for. Or you begin to leave the paints in the closet and you begin to do what everybody else wants you to do. And, and it turns out that that makes you maybe depressed or maybe not as happy as you could be because you were doing something you love doing, even if it's just in your spare time. But now the demands of life and, and what other people told you, um, have got you off track, have got you doing something else. So let's imagine for a minute that you were living that life and on the weekends, just for a couple hours, you told your family, you told your husband, you told your wife, you told your you know, dad, brother, sister, whoever, that, hey, I, I, if you can't, please, I'm not gonna be bothered for just, just for an hour or two because I really wanna focus on my painting. You know, every Saturday from nine to 11, or if you're an early riser, five to seven or whatever. I guarantee you, I promise you this, I guarantee you if that happened, you would begin to have a little bit more joy in your heart. Okay, sounds bright, I know. But you would begin to have a little more joy in your heart. You begin to feel a little bit better because you were doing something you loved doing, right? You were, you were passionate about art and now you're getting to do just that. So I say that to encourage you guys because I know for me personally lately, you know, I've been really thinking a lot about the things I've been doing and the lifestyle I wanna live and, and career and goals and stuff like that. And you know, I haven't got it all worked out yet. You know, I'm still working on things, but the more and more I realize, you know, um, that I can live the life I wanna live if I surround myself with people, my wife, you know, um, you know, friends, I don't really have a lot, but the ones that I choose to have, if I make sure that they don't necessarily embrace the way I live or the way I think, but that they're accepting and supportive of it, then that helps tremendously, you know? It's like, you know, people who maybe have a, a, a different lifestyle, let's say they're gay, or let's say um, they're in an interracial marriage or things like that, you know. When they're living that lifestyle and they're surrounded by people who are judgmental or, or, or things like that, you know, it could be depressing, you know, it could be miserable. But when they begin to surround themselves by people who are loving and caring and supportive of their lifestyle, whatever it may be, you know, then they, they find joy, they find happiness, they find that they're they're living the way they want to live and, and it's a great place to be, you know. You know, I've talked to people who've experienced just that very thing. And I know even myself that I've experienced it, you know, where I lived a life that was what everybody else thought I should be living and what I should be doing. And and I changed that, you know? And I began doing stuff that I enjoyed doing and stuff that I loved and it, it's made a world of difference. So that being said, here's what I want to do. I want to encourage you, whatever it is that you love doing, assuming it's legal, you know, I'm not trying to tell you to, you know, go do illegal stuff, go to jail or whatever, you know, um, but whatever it is you love doing, if you're passionate about it and, and your heart is into it, I want to encourage you to, to find time to do those things, 
find time, be encouraged, find time to, 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 to make that passion, um, a priority for yourself. And if you want to, if your goal is to make it a career, start doing it. You know, I do photography, you know, and I have, I don't have a full fledged, you know, big business that's booming, you know, we're in the early stages of it, you know, and it's, 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 you know, it's something that I have to continue to work on, you know, and I, you know, hopefully three or four years from now, it'll be something that, you know, I'm earning a complete living from, but am I there yet? No. Am I depressed about it? No. I just realized that, you know, some days are going to be good. Some weeks are going to be good. Some months aren't going to be good. Some months aren't going to be great. And I just have to keep at it and have a positive attitude. So I want to encourage you to do the same. Become self-realized. Realize that, you know, whatever it is, who you are, the more and more that you accept that and become that, the happier you'll be. Hope you enjoyed this video. I want to encourage you if you can, uh, if you did like it and you do see this, you know, it'll probably be like three three people looking at it. But if you did see this and you did like it, uh, please um, share with other people because I want to encourage as many people as possible and ignore this bright sun in my face. (laughs) Y'all take it easy.